Hello students, I am again here with one more important question for your Java interview preparation. What is the difference between equality operator and equals method in Java? See, this is a equality operator. You can also call it as a comparison operator, relational operator. This is to check the equality between two objects. Again, this operator we can use with primitive data type variables also. And this equals method is present in object class. See, we know that object class is a base class for all classes in Java. That's why that is applicable for all classes. Okay, now what is the exact difference between this equals method and equality operator that I am going to explain now. See, this equal to operator, it is called as a double equal to operator. Again, you can call it as equal equal operator. Okay, this is for comparison. Means here we are going to check for equality. Again, equals method we can use for comparison. Okay, but here the equal to operator meant for comparison between references. Here reference comparison is there. Whenever we want to compare references or addresses, then we can use this equal to operator and equals method we can use for content comparison getting means suppose two objects are there whether those two objects are having same contents or not that we can check with the help of equals method there we cannot use this equality operator for example see suppose we know the string class this is a inbuilt class in java Suppose I am creating one object of this string class like string s1 is equal to new string and suppose the contents are let a, b, c. Okay and suppose one more object I am creating like string s2 equal to new string. Again same contents I am writing here. What will happen internally two objects will be created like s1. It is pointing to this object a, b, c. Okay, and second S2 object is created inside a memory. Again, it is pointing to the object which is having same content say BC. Now, if we check whether S1 is equal to equal to S2, what it will return? See, we know this equality, equality operator is for reference comparison. Reference means whether S1 and S2 both are having same address. Here we can check hash code. Okay, means same address, same reference, then we can say that both are equal. But here see, contents are same but objects are two different objects. Both are having different addresses, different references. That's why it will return false. And if we check whether S1 dot equals S2, then it will return true of course because this is for content comparison. Okay, now see this equals method is actually present in object class, but that is for reference comparison. Whatever equals method written inside object class, that is for reference comparison only. See object class if you are considering object class, then there is no difference between equality operator and equals method. Both are same, both will compare the references in that case. But this uh, equals method is overridden inside multiple classes. Because see object class is a base class for all classes and that equals method is overridden in multiple classes which are derived from this object class. For example, there are multiple collection classes, classes which are present inside collection framework like array list class is there, okay, then dictionary class is there. The, those classes are having the equals method overridden. Okay, and that overridden method is for contained comparison. Next, see this string class is again derived from this object class. Inside that string class, again the same method is written, and there that is meant for contained comparison. Okay, but see one more example I am giving here that is string buffer class. String buffer class is having again that equals method, but that is not overridden inside that string buffer class. Suppose we have created two objects of string buffer class and we are using that equals method with those two objects. Then that will compare the reference. In that case equality operator and equals method both will give you same answer. Why? 
because string buffer class is not overriding that equals method getting these points you must know but the main basic difference is evaluate operator for reference comparison and equals method is for content comparison but some points you have to keep in mind that if object class directly object class you are considering but both are for reference comparison in object class both are for reference comparison equality operator as well as equals method okay both are for reference comparison always keep in mind one more string class then uh, all the classes whatever derived from that object class yeah, whatever present inside that collection framework all those classes are again having this equals method overridden and that is for content comparison in general you can say that equality operator is for reference comparison equals method is for content comparison always keep in mind these points now this is all about difference between equality operator and equals method in the next session we will see one more important question for your java interview preparation till then take care bye bye thank you